hold on to the highway. I'm Natalie Salzman and I'm a harpist and singer-songwriter. I just released my debut album, which is called Ebb and Flow. And the album, I wrote four of the songs and two of them are arrangements, covers. And I was really fortunate to get to record it in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, which if you don't know, um, it's a really famous legendary studio where artists such as Aretha Franklin and Wilson Pickett, the Rolling Stones, Simon and Garfunkel and all these major artists came. What's so special about the studio is really the session musicians. I was really lucky to get a lot of the musicians that played on like Aretha's album and like they're in their 60s or 70s but they're amazing. I was always a classical harpist and then probably sophomore year of college for fun I started doing like instrumental covers of bands that I just like to listen to. For fun, I like I didn't really sing that much, and I was like, well, you know, it might be fun to sing one or two. So my senior year, I just started recording some songs that I liked and arranging them, singing. And I had never written a song of my own. I mean, like maybe one on guitar. It was terrible. Um, and then I think my senior year, I started really enjoying singing and playing on the harp, and I really liked it. So I started taking voice lessons here, and really before then, I would not sing for anyone. Like I was so shy and refused to sing in public at all. And my teacher here, Christopher Grundy, um, really, really helped. So then I started getting more confidence in my singing ability. Well, right after I graduated, I um, just started booking places and shows in New York City and open mics. And I just started really loving it. And I was like, wow, like this is a lot of fun. And I remember I booked my first show and they said 50 minutes of original music and I'd written maybe one song, so I was like, well, okay. So I wrote like, tried to write all these songs and I got out there and I started just loving it and I said, well, maybe I should, you know, get more serious about it and record an album and pursue it and see where it goes. I definitely had a bit of a shock after I graduated because I was like, I'm the one in charge of my career and no one else is, I don't have a teacher, I don't have anyone else that's gonna make it happen, so I think on one hand it's a lot more work being your own manager and your booking agent, but on the other hand, um, you're the most motivated about your own career. I mean, you have to have an entrepreneurial spirit and you really have to want to succeed. So you really have to do whatever it takes and you have to be really, really creative to pave a career that isn't laid out for you. Being a singer-songwriter is such a competitive, difficult career. I mean, there's millions of people pursuing it. So one way to feel that you've got a little bit above them is to say, well, I've got a really solid classical foundation and I know what I'm doing with the music. I think people are starting to realize that it's unrealistic to graduate and get an orchestra job immediately, you know, the CSO or something. Um, so I think people are, that are successful are more creative with their career and they're also not putting their eggs all in one basket. If you say, well, you know, I'm going to make my living off being an orchestra musician and you don't get it, you know, you don't have anything else to do. So if you teach a little, you perform, maybe you form a quartet and you do go to weddings or something. But you have lots of different, um, lots of different roles to, to basically support yourself. So my debut album, Ebb and Flow, is uh, available on iTunes. And you can also check out my music and more information about shows and news at nataliesalzman.com. In between.